the Sun undergoes a periodic change over an approximate 11 year cycle. The level of solar radiation generated by the Sun fluctuates. It can be directly observed in the number of sunspots or auroras. These periods of solar minimum and solar maximum can have a significant effect on the weather on Earth. The levels of ultraviolet light reaching the surface which in turn alters life on Earth. There has been a question about why does the Sun go through these cycles? And the largest external influence which matches these periodic changes is that which is caused by the gravitational influence of Jupiter, Venus and the Earth. These planets and their moons come into alignment just over every 11 years and a combined gravitational pull may be enough to cause a change in the solar activity by pulling on the plasma inside the Sun. The relative size and distance of each of these planets and their associated moons means that combined together they exert enough force on the Sun to create this change inside the Sun. Now, with Venus being so much closer to the Sun than the Earth or Jupiter, even though it's much smaller than either of these planets, it exerts about as much gravitational influence on the Sun as Jupiter does. The smallest influence out of the three being created by the combined gravitational pull of the Earth and the Moon acting together. This influence of planets on the activity of a star may in future need to be taken into account if we ever travel to another star, especially if the star system has any super Earths orbiting close to the star, as their influence may be significantly greater than the combined influence of Jupiter, Venus and the Earth. These tidal forces in general do seem to be underestimated their influence on moons, planets and stars and their internal structures and have only relatively recently been attracting the massive scientific investigation that they deserve.